Hello everyone, here I have a C61 European uh, lens cover set. Now uh, this is from um, quite a useful site I found called www.wildlifewatchingsupplies.co.uk Basically they supply lots of different um, parts um, for your lenses basically. So basically you've got everything on there. Typically you'll spend £40 um, it's quite a reasonable price and you do um, quite some nice set designs and variations like I've got on the 300 here um, and I think this cost uh, around uh, 300 sorry uh, I think this costs around 30 pound and obviously it protects your lens from damage quite handy to have also just a little note in the winter when it's cold and your lens gets cold because it's metal it's nice to hold somewhere that's not freezing so <laughs> it's always uh, a good idea to uh, get some neuropene on your lens so <clears throat> what we have here is a 100 to 400 mark 2 lens um, and basically I just want to show you how to put them on because they don't send you any instructions which, which is uh, annoying so Without further ado, let me show you. Right, the uh, first thing to do is connect the part that would go around the uh, shoe mount. Now, I think I found it best to remove it. If you guys haven't seen this yet, it, you just basically unscrew it and it comes off. Quite simple. So, obviously, there are two holes in this one. I'm not sure why the manufacturer's done that, because all you need is the one hole because you need to put it over your uh, lens mount knob basically so you just put your thing over and then attach it on like so like so and you basically have other parts that you need to put on so what we've got here is a bigger part which is for the uh, lens hood, which is here. You can see that. It will go on there. Um, we also have um, a part that will go over the main part there. Another part that will go over the focusing ring, and another part that goes over the tightening uh, ring as well. They also included an interesting part here, which is basically a bit of Velcro, and it actually goes round the lens when it's extended so uh, it'll obviously keep you uh, hidden or your lens hidden um, even when you're at 400 millimeters, which is nice they included that we also include um, two free converter covers uh, one for the 2x and one for the 1.4x so it's nice to include that free of charge um, so without a further ado let me get on with uh, putting it on for you bigger ring which goes over the lens and basically covers the ring uh, zooming uh, grip and it's up to you how you want to fit it on how snug you want to make it there's obviously lots of parts to it ok that's nice and snug the only found thing I found annoying is uh, uh, that end bit here seems to come off a bit. Uh, it doesn't like to stay on very well. So I suspect when you've got it on the camera, it, it'll stay there. So leave that at one side. So we've got the lens hood with its uh, sliding door. So you have the cover for that, which you just slide over. Like so, and uh, obviously, I can see the problem here already. Doing this is um, there's no cut out, which I would have thought it would have been a good idea to do. So, so you can access the door because uh, now you're gonna have to lift it up to open that door and adjust your uh, filter. 
Um, but it seems alright for what it is. And then you just put it on the lens, like so. So it's on there. Um, and then let's twist the lens. I just wanted to show you the feature of this um, Velcro bit they give you. So you just basically slide it over the lens, attach it, and pull it a little bit so it attaches to the Velcro, and there you go. You've got your uh, lens. There you go. Um, so that's going to obviously protect your lens, and then obviously you just want to stick your hood back on like so and uh, that's it really so that's how you attach um, an European um, cover um, camouflage to your lens I just thought this video would be helpful because there's a lot of people who buy these and they don't tend to send you any instructions on how to put them on um, sometimes it's a lot of guesswork so I hope this instructional video has been helpful if any of you guys are interested in the company that supply this, I will put that email address in the description box. Um, and I uh, just want to say thank you for watching and um, see you later. Bye.